Hello folks, we're chatting slides in video conferencing, in other words using SlideShare. And the first question you want to ask yourself is, do I really need slides? In other words, will they enhance my presentation? Now assuming that the answer is yes, I'd like you to bear this very important fact in mind. If you're speaking to a live audience, you're training, you're doing a keynote, or whatever form of presentation it is. The audience is pretty forgiving and you can generally have a slide on for two to two and a half minutes and it can work fairly well. But with a video conference, you're operating remotely, you've got people sitting all over the world, all over the country, and if you don't hold their attention sufficiently, they're going to get up and do all sorts of different things. They're going to do their text messages, check their mail, go to the loo, make a cup of coffee. So you've got to make sure that whatever you're putting across is compelling enough that they're going to sit and watch you the whole time. So the rule immediately reduces from two and a half down to probably one and a half or one and a quarter minutes uh, that you can leave a slide on. And the second important thing would be that you cannot show 14 slides in succession because they will leave you and they won't come back because I certainly would not tune in to a webinar or a video conference to be met with a succession of slides and a rambling voice. I'd like the person to be looking at the camera, making eye contact with me, getting a bit of interaction going, having the odd poll, um, asking for a few questions, and so on and so forth, so that there is some form of interaction. And you're not going to achieve that by putting a whole plethora of slides on. So let's then just look at what should be on those slides and what shouldn't be on those slides. If your purpose is to put a whole lot of text on, well, you've got to ask yourself then, why are you doing that? Because effectively, the text should be coming out of your mouth. And the big problem with text is that the moment text goes on a screen, people default to reading the text, which means that they stop listening to what you're saying unless what you're saying is perfectly synchronized with their reading time, which is unusual and is probably not going to happen. The only justification for a reasonable amount of text on a slide is if you're speaking to a, an, a hearing impaired audience or alternatively uh, it's an international audience and there are a lot of people whose second language would or third language would be the one that you're presenting in. So bear those things in mind. The rule generally is as little text as possible. If you're going to be using graphs, which are normally great, make sure that they're big and bold, that they're simple, that they're easy to understand, and that you don't put more than one graph on per slide unless you're doing a direct comparison. But generally with a graph, what you can do then is you can superimpose, so you still usually only need one graph. Uh, a map is a good visual to put on, and images are great, provided, again, there's not too much text. So the idea, quite simply, is that in a webinar or video conference kind of environment. Perhaps a couple of slides, one after the other, is acceptable. But then you do need to break it up. You need to get your face back on. You need to be looking at them. You need to be making eye contact. And you, you, you must make sure that you don't let the slide be the presentation. Because what's going to happen is you're going to lose your audience. And when you look at the participants, you're going to find that you've got a third of the people that actually joined your video conference still left with you at the end, and you wouldn't want that. So all the best. Try and put these tips into, uh, into practice, and let's hope that you can deliver some really swashbuckling video conferences. Good luck.